You're watching UNICEF television. It rains only once a year in the Sahel. Last year, it didn't rain enough, and not enough rain means over 10 million people may not have enough to eat. We estimate that there will be, uh, in 2012, over a million children suffering from severe uh, acute malnutrition. And what's important to know is that malnutrition can kill. Many natural disasters strike without warning. The Sahel is different. Life here, just south of the Sahara, is profoundly fragile to begin with. Add in rising food prices and failed crops, and the ingredients for a crisis are in place. But a crisis that can be predicted can be prepared for. UNICEF began to plan last year, buying and shipping large quantities of therapeutic food and medicine, hiring extra staff, and helping governments to prepare. April to June is when this will really start to, to build up as a, as, a, as a crisis. So what we're doing now is just being in a position to do so when it does happen. UNICEF is watching the crisis closely so that it can calibrate its response and ensure that children receive not just food, but appropriate therapeutic and medical treatment so that the crisis will not jeopardize their long-term development. Basically, we're looking at three, three phases here. First, looking at the response phase, the emergency response to deal with this increase in malnutrition in, in the eight countries we're talking about. Secondly, building up safety nets in, in each of the countries, as has been done already in Niger, to capture the malnutrition that we see this year, but probably we'll see in future years. And then the third one is to deal with the chronic nature of the problem, building up resilience to this in the future, and, and starting to deal with some of the underlying factors. While the situation in the Sahel has not become a famine yet, only early action will prevent further deterioration of the food security situation and avoid a full-scale food and nutrition crisis. This is Locke Phillips reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.